Welcome to the lesson on exploring the data set. Let's proceed further. Now, we will check all column names. To check the column names of the data frame, diabetes underscore df, we use the columns method. Now, the data frame diabetes underscore df dot column. Let's run the cell. Here we go, we can see the list of all the column names of the data frame. There are a total of 9 columns in the data set. Next, we will check more information about the data frame using the info method. We use the info method to check index D type, columns, non null values, and memory usage. We will use the dot info method. There are a total of 768 entries from 0 to 767. Here we can see that we have integer and float. So all the columns are in either integer or float format. The memory size of data is 54 kilobytes. We don't have any string values. Let's check the mean, median, and average for all these columns. We use the pandas describe method to view some basic statistical details like percentile, mean, STD, etc. Let's run the cell. So, we have pregnancies. So the maximum a person has 17 pregnancies. I mean, a lady becomes pregnant 17 times, and she is a diabetic patient. We observe a minimum of 0 times. Then we have 75% of ladies around 6 times they become pregnant. And then we see glucose values. Then we have blood pressure, and the maximum blood pressure is 122. Here, we see minimum blood pressure is 0, and skin thickness is maximum is 99, and the minimum is 0. The insulin is maximum, and is 846. The minimum is 0. Here we have age, and the highest age of the patients is 81. And the minimum age is 21. I hope every one of you able to understand the data set. Let's check the transpose of this data. Here in this way, we are unable to see details about all columns. We are not able to observe the outcome and the age features. We use the transpose method to change rows into columns and columns into rows. We can check all these columns at once using this method. Let's proceed further. Now let's check whether we have any null values or not. We do not see null values or missing values. False indicates no missing values. True indicates missing values. We are not able to see any null value. Let's check the sum of null values. Here, we don't have any null values. So, all the columns show zero values. Here we can see that we don't have any null values. Now let's check whether we have any NAND values or not. If zeros are present in the data, we do not see those values as missing values. In this case, we replace zero values with NAND values. Using this, we will check whether we have any NAND values. Let's run the cell. Here, we can see that there are 374 NAND values in insulin and 227 NAND values in skin thickness. We have 35 NAND values in blood pressure and we have 11 values in body mass index BMI. 